Okay, everybody, we're going to do these two equations. I want, they're different, so I, w I was hoping that I'll guide you through this one step by step, and then I want you all to press pause and try this one on your own, and then check the answer. So um, on the, this one, again, we're going to simplify both sides and then solve. So simplify means like add like terms or apply the distributive property if you can. Do everything you can to simplify both sides before you start adding and subtracting things to both sides. So to simplify, uh, it looks like we'll apply the distributive property here. When you have a negative on the outside of a parenthesis, I'd like you guys to stick a 1 there. See that 1? I want you all to multiply by negative 1. All right? This when you when you apply the distributive property like that, multiplied by negative 1. And let me try to explain this little thing, because a lot of students get mixed up on this. Like if I had a bag, and in the bag there was, um, let's say, $5 and um, a peanut or something like that, which is kind of dumb. But anyway, let's say there was, um, and I subtracted that bag. I would actually be subtracting the $5 and subtracting the peanut, right? So I don't know if that makes sense, but like here's the you know five dollar bill, and here's a, a peanut or whatever, and it's in a bag, and this is really dumb. But anyway, if I was to subtract the bag, I would be subtracting the five dollars and subtracting the peanut as well, because that's like inside the bag, right? Um, and so it's kind of like you got to multiply by negative one when you do this stuff, right? Um, uh, anyway, sorry for that silly example, but. If I multiply by negative 1, I get negative 3x minus 5 here. And then write everything else down. And that's 1x minus 3x. Now we've got to add like terms. So 1x minus 3x is positive. One good guy, three bad guys, negative 2x. Two bad guys, negative 2x. Minus 5 equals negative 3. Now, x is being multiplied by negative 2, and then 5 is being subtracted. So I'd like you guys to try to undo that subtracting 5 first. So at this point, we have simplified, and now we're going to solve. So we simplify it to here, and now we're going to solve, right? So to undo subtracting 5, we're going to add 5 to both sides, and that leaves us with negative 2x equals and negative 3 plus 5 is 3 bad guys, 5 good guys, positive 2. And x is being multiplied by negative 2, so divide both sides by negative 2 to get x equals positive over negative, negative 2 over 2, 1. And that's the answer there. And that, by the way, should check because it becomes parenthesis minus 3 times parenthesis plus 5 equals negative 3. You plug negative 1 in. And you get negative 1 minus negative 3 plus 5, uh, negative 1 minus, and this is 2, positive 2. And negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3. So when we plug negative 1 in for x into the original equation, both sides are the same, so that solves the equation, right? So I'd like you all to please press pause and do this one all the way through on your own and then just play the video and check your answer. Okay, I hope you tried it yourself. I'm going to do it now. So, um, again, I have this negative outside the parentheses. So I'm going to turn that negative into a negative 1 and multiply in by negative 1 to get negative 1 times 4x minus 4x, and negative 1 times negative 1 plus 1. And now, and, and watch out, because here's a, this negative 1 times negative 1 gave a plus 1, and that's important. A lot of students would, would miss that, so just watch out for that, right? And now we're going to add like terms, 1x minus 4x, negative 3x plus 1 equals 7. And then we just subtract 1, and we get negative 3x equals 7 minus 1, 6. x is being multiplied by negative 3, so divide both sides by negative 3 
to get x equals positive over negative negative 6 over 3, 2. So x equals negative 2. Okay with that? Perfect. All right.